Hello, uh, I'm Boris Johnson, speaking directly to you from number 10 Downing Street. Uh, you may be worried about my crazy hair too. Well, this is a distractor to, you know, cast people's eyes away from my political mistakes. And, you know, one of my greatest political mistakes was, of course, to hold a series of drinks party at this ga Downing Street, uh, number 10 gardens. And, you know, um, you know, I did it. Yeah, I did it. I was photographed uh, holding a beer and I said that I stayed there for 30 minutes only. But uh, what I really wanted to say was I stayed there 30 minutes conscious. <laughs> you know, I drank too much and I was unconscious for most of the time, which lasted for uh, six hours or so. But uh, you know, you know, Scotland Yard is now making invest full investigation, so you know. But it doesn't really matter now because, you know, thank you, Radvir. Because you invaded Ukraine, uh, people are distracted away from my uh, political mistakes. So nobody cares about the drinks party now. Uh, so uh, thanks to you, Putin, because you invaded Ukraine, I am surviving as a British prime minister. So uh, I'm on the way to become a great prime minister like Winston Churchill, who stood up to the Germany's oppression uh, during the Second World War. Now I am seen as somebody who is courageous and uh, cunning enough to win over Russia's plan to take over Ukraine and probably larger portion of Europe. So I will be you know, recorded in history as somebody who is equivalent to Winston Churchill. And after all this is over, probably I will write a memoir like Winston Churchill's and probably win the Nobel Prize for Literature, or even Peace. Well, it could be a double bill, you know, and uh, then I will be even greater than Winston Churchill. Anyway, uh, when that happens, when I receive the Nobel Prize for Literature and Peace, maybe together in the same year, maybe, uh, I will be having a drinks party, pa proper drinks party at uh, number 10 Downing Street, where I will be there only for 30 minutes, conscious. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be intoxicated and, you know, I'll be smiling like a uh, really a strange baby. And uh, and that when that happens, I can have a really a proper drinks party. But because presumably by that time, uh, this lockdown business would be over. Uh, coronavirus would be, you know, long gone and I, I can, you know, drink to my heart's content. What? Oh, you are saying that uh, we may be uh, on the way to a total nuclear war because Putin is that kind of person. And, oh, the whole UK might be under lockdown because of the nuclear fallouts. Oh, I think uh, probably you have seen too much of Stanley Kubrick's film, uh, you know, specifically uh, Dr. Strangelove. Um, so that wouldn't happen. Well, yeah, sure, uh, you know, when you have a crazy person like Vladimir Putin on one side and crazy uh, person with crazy hair on the British Isles, uh, well, you never know. Yeah, well, well, I can, well, I can have drinks in a lockdown situation because I'm used to that. So, okay, if in that eventuality, uh, I will be having a drinks party at number 10 Downing Street in the gardens. Oh, well, not in the gardens because there will be fallout. So I'll be in the shelter and I would drink to celebrate my uh, Nobel uh, Peace Prize and Nobel uh, Prize for Literature. And uh, yeah, well, that's that's really true. Yeah, there won't be any Europe to celebrate with me. Uh, that's a uh, question. But, uh, you know, I'm being a lone wolf for most of my political career, so I can stand that maybe. Yeah. And this actually might be a pre-recorded message in that eventuality. So, hello, people. Are you there? Uh, are you in the year 2022, 23, 24? And do you know things you feared would happen happened? Well, I'm here, Boris Johnson, uh, speaking to you directly from number 10 Downing Street, and I did have my drinks party. Actually, but I didn't actually receive my Nobel Prizes for Literature and Peace. Sad.